On this week's Wednesday Recap, we begin in Ivory Coast, where COCAN, the Ivorian organizing committee for the Africa Cup of Nations, has declared that they are ready to host AFCON. This will be the second time that Ivory Coast is chosen to host the Africa Cup of Nations, where 52 matches will be played across five cities. The crown jewel among the stadiums is the Alassane Ouattara Olympic Stadium. It was built at a cost of 143 billion West African francs or $257 million, with China contributing 63 billion francs. Following its inauguration, it became one of the largest stadiums in West Africa. Next up, there were a host of sponsorship announcements in the last week, so let's run through them. Kanan Moody, the Springbok and Vodacom Bulls World Cup winning winger, signed as a Breitling ambassador this week. His teammate, Cheslin Kobe, signed an extension to his agreement as an ambassador of the global financial services company, Investec. Staying in South Africa, DP World extended its sponsorship as the headline partner for both the Lions men and women's professional cricket teams, along with the iconic DP World Wanderers Cricket Stadium. Lastly in Kenya, the East African Safari Rally Championship got a big financial boost this week when Safaricom announced that they would sponsor the event to the tune of 6 million Kenyan shillings. Now, our last story for the week takes us to Ghana, again, if you remember last week. According to a story by Joy Sports, the Ghana Football Association told its members that it received $7.9 million from FIFA after participating in the World Cup in Qatar. The trouble is, the sports minister, Mustafa Usif, in November 2022, had told Parliament that the country would receive $9 million from FIFA. So what happened to the $1.1 million? In trying to explain the shortfall, the Football Association said that $80,000 was used to pay for yellow cards acquired at the tournament. But if indeed Ghana paid over $80,000 for yellow cards accumulated at the World Cup, and that was deducted from the prize money, the country would still be left with over $8.9 million, not $7.9 million that the FA is claiming to have received from FIFA. So where is the money? Where is the shortfall? And that wraps it up for this week. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and enjoy your weekend.